Hello, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I thought I might try and speed solve the Super Fiendish today. Um, so I'll try and give a bit of commentary as I go through, but um, I'm going to try and go faster than I would normally do just to give you an idea of what's possible with these puzzles if you have reasonable technique. Um, okay. So as usual what I'm doing is I'm making pencil marks in three by three boxes where a number can only go in one of two positions. Um, and that's the only time I'm going to allow myself to make make pencil mark notes. Uh, there's a good spot there. See this 3-9 just juxtaposition? That gives me this double here. Now that might be useful. Um, what's that going to be useful? Ah, because look, we can put 1-2 now into those two positions. That is good. 1-2-2. Two, two. Uh, which fixes this 2 here, this has to be a 2, that means that's a 5, that's a 5 and that's a 7. 7, that means we can place pencil marks down here, like that, 9, 6, 1, this is 4, 8 in some order. So this 2 here, that resolves that ambiguity, we can place that 2. Ah, that's nice. Ah, yes, it's lovely. Lovely. Okay, so now look, we can place these two pencil marks because of these two threes. And that gives us this double here. But look at this arrangement of threes. We have two threes in column eight here, column eight and nine, and two threes in column eight and nine in the bottom box as well. So there can't be any other three in these columns. This cannot take a three because otherwise the puzzle will break. Um, so that has to resolve itself in that way round, which gives us a 5 up here, and a 5 here, and a 5 here. Um, okay, that all looks quite sensible. Let's put in some 8s we can place there, 8s we can place here. Seven, so oh, that has to be a seven. That means we can place one pencil marks over this side, which allows us to settle this one and two combination. Two, two. I'm trying to go reasonably quickly here, so I, I may be um, missing obvious things, and if that's the case, apologies. Um, two, three. So it's very uh, daunting trying to speed solve one of these live because your brain is sort of flying all over the place. And I'm very conscious that it's the video is recording for posterity my own stupidity. So it's um, okay. So what do we need now? We can place fours into those two positions. Here and here. Feels like I should be able to do more up here, to be honest. Um, We need 4, 7, 8, 9 in this column. We've got 4, 8 here, and this 7 and this 9 here. I mean, this is 4, 8 as well. It can only be 4 or 8. That means this cell cannot be an 8. This has to be an 8. Oh, uh, that means this cell is 7 or 9. So this cell's got to be 9 now. This is 9, this is 7. Um, 
9, this is 9, this is 9, this is 3, 3, this is, oh that's nice, this is 3, this is 2, oh wow, uh, that means this is 2 does it, golly, golly that's going to give us loads of numbers, 2, 6, 7, like that, that's got to be 7, that's got to be 8, that's got to be 1, that's got to be 1. You can see the power of this technique if you just get a little bit of a start you can really make some quick progress. Um, and again apologies if I'm missing things here but I'm trying to go swiftly. 8, 4, 4, 1, 6, 7 to place here. Let's resolve that way around. 6 here, 1, 4 into these positions, or 1, what are we looking for up here, 1, 4, 8, that's going to be 1, 8 here, so this is the 4, and this is, what's this going to be then, uh, 2 is it, 2, one, 2, so, what do we left to place here? One, four, eight. And there we go. So, I hope that was uh, uh, instructive. Not a terrible time, considering I'm uh, having to keep going backwards and forth, forwards with the cursor, uh, which is uh, one of the penalties of doing the online solving. Um, but what I really wanted to show you is how efficient, um, even on a super fiendish puzzle, this method is. You know, if you get a good start, which we did there with that 3-9 combination, that's, uh, it was this 3-9 and this 3-9 here that enabled us to find the 3-9 double here, and then this 2 and this 1 allowed us to fix a 2-1 in this bottom box. And once we had that, um, it all flowed very smoothly. So thanks for watching. We'll keep doing these videos. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. And we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.